Hello everyone and welcome to our Tech Tuesday tutorial number 43. Today we give you a brief overview of Google Team Drives and explain why you should be using them. Google Drive has one major problem when working in Teams, file ownership. Now what happens when several people contribute to a shared folder only to have one person leave the organization? All their files could potentially disappear with them. Team drives are generally available to all G Suite, business, nonprofits, education, and enterprise customers, but not for personal Gmail accounts. Team drives is much like my drive and it works alongside it, but with a couple of major differences. One, there's no ownership of files. Team drives are jointly owned by the team, which means that anything added to the team drive stays there no matter who comes or goes. Once files are placed into a team drive by the owner, the ownership is removed. If someone leaves the folder or the organization, the files will stay. And if for some reason everyone leaves the folder, the files stay and are accessible once an admin adds a new member back. So that means no more lost data. Secondly, team drives are for teams. With standard folders, you can share a top-level folder with some people, change the permissions for subfolders, and then fine-tune your access to individual files. This is good control and it's useful for personal folders, but it makes it difficult and confusing to know who can see what in a team. Team drives set the permission from the top level and it cannot be individualized, meaning that the team members automatically see the same files regardless of who adds or organizes them. For some, this may be seen as a limitation, but for others, it's a feature. So let's see it in action. To create a team drive, it might be a simple process or it might involve contacting your Google Apps admin. You open up Drive and in the left navigation, click on Team Drives. See if you can click the New button at the top and if that's lit up, you're ready to go. If not, you might need to contact your IT services and at Georgia Southern, it's as simple as filling out a tech ticket with a request for a Team Drive and then you give them the name you want for the new drive like IRC Staff or COET3 Grant 2018 or something like that. Be specific as it might be competing with other team drive names, uh, so like Grant or Math, for example, are bad names. So once you have a team drive, it'll show up under team drives there and you can even expand your outline. You can then add members. So when you go into a team drive, you can right click on it and choose add members or manage members. Adding members is pretty easy. It's the same as you would do with any file or folder and you get to choose what level of access they have. Full access means that they can actually upload and delete files that are in there. They can even add other members. It's like their owners. Edit access gives them the ability to add files and edit anything that's there, including renaming them. But they cannot delete files. But this also means they can't move files from one folder to the other because moving actually involves deleting from the original and copying to the new. Or you can choose to give them comment access, uh, which again, all they can do is comment or just view access. That's it. If you want to change permission for existing members, you just click on manage members and there you can change your permission or even remove them entirely uh, from the drive. The mechanics of team drives is pretty simple and it's very similar to regular drive. You can open up files and folders. You can create new folders within the team drive. You can upload files and so on. Uh, again, just remember you have to have full access to be able to delete or move things. You can drag and drop files into this. Um, you can copy them from your drive and drag them into that. You cannot move folders into this and it'll give you an error message if you try. However, you can upload folders from your computer. So if you really need to get a whole bunch of files from your My Drive into Team Drives and there were a lot of subfolders, you could just right click on a folder to download it. It'll give you a zip file. You unzip that file and then you upload the folder with all subfolders into the Team Drive from your computer. But many of the times you just need to recreate the folder structure and move the files individually. Whenever you move a file from my drive to the team drive, like so, it transfers ownership to the team drive itself and you don't have ownership anymore. So notice I'm the owner on this one. If I move it over here to IRC staff and then I go over to IRC staff, there it is. There's no owner field whatsoever. If you'd like to search the contents of a team drive, you simply have to go up to the search bar and pull down the little menu up at the top. And instead of searching anywhere, just click that button there and narrow down to where you'd like to search. So you can search just the team drive or maybe within folders in the team drive and so on and so forth. By the way, this works for any kind of searches within drive in general. Um, you can do advanced searches here, which allow you to filter by type and owner, even if you want to just search the trash or even certain keywords or file types. If you need to share a file with people outside of your organization and it's in a team drive, you can do that. You can right click on it and share and you can add anybody to it. That does not give them access to the, all the rest of the stuff in team drive, just like it wouldn't do it with drive in general. 
One of the restrictions with Team Drive over regular Drive is that you can't share links to an entire folder. In regular Drive, you're able to get a link to an entire folder and put that up on the web or something like that. So if you have a folder for handouts like we have for EdTBA, I can get a shareable link for that folder. If I try to do the same with a Team Drive, it won't let me. So in general, you can't get shareable links to entire folders, but you can get shareable links to actual files themselves, individual ones. And for that reason, and that's why we're still using Drive for some things. So for those visual learners out there, here's a side-by-side -side comparison of what you get with Team Drive versus My Drive. And don't forget, you can use both, of course. But for the Team Drive, the big thing is that ownership is owned by the team, not by the person who created the file. If you want to restore files, they're still in the trash and so on. You can move files at any way you want with My Drive, but it can get to be really kind of complicated because some people might see files in a folder and others won't based on permissions. Whereas Team Drive is simplified, only the owners can do it and moving entire folders is tough. Again, that affects sharing. So all team members see the same set of files there. You can't itemize them. Uh, whereas in My Drive, people, different people might see different things in the folder based on if they, they've been given permission uh, or there's been an exclusion made in the folder. An important thing to know about the deletion is that with a team drive, it's similar to Gmail, deleted items have a 30-day lifespan. That is, 30 days after they've been deleted, they're permanently deleted. As opposed to Drive, where they kind of stay in the trash until you empty your trash. Well, that's the quick overview of team drives. I really, really encourage you guys to get out there and try it, uh, particularly for large organizations or school systems that are on G Suite, of course. It really solves a huge problem with file ownership, with institutional memory, and, uh, and so on. We've had a lot of data lost whenever people leave the organization and all the work that they were doing with that grant or whatever else, all those files they had are now gone. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. And if you did, go ahead and hit that like button. Heck, why not support us and click that subscribe button. Leave a comment or an idea for a Tech Tuesday video below. Share this video with your friends, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.